Hello Ataku fans, in today's top 10 Anami content we're counting down the top Anami with a badass immortal main character. If you are new to this channel feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Anami content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Shuchi Kagaya is what one would consider an average high school student, but sometimes, he turns into a monster. He doesn't know how or why he got his abilities, only that he would prefer no one knows about them. One night, he finds a building ablaze with a girl trapped inside. Deciding to save her, he transforms and carries her to safety, but accidentally drops his phone. The next day, the girl he saved, Claire Aoki, finds him and confronts him about his monster identity. She even goes so far as to push him off the school roof to prove her theory after Shuichi denies her allegations. Desperate to save himself, he transforms, and Claire snaps a picture in order to blackmail him into telling her everything he knows about monsters, which, ironically, isn't much. As it turns out, Claire has a secret of her own, she has been searching for her sister, who also became a monster. She enlists Shuichi's help to track her down, but they aren't the only ones searching for answers. Hidden in plain sight, spirits known as yaokai inhabit the world. While most are benign, a certain subset threatens the tenuous peace between yaokai and humanity. Ever since she agreed to become their god of wisdom, Kotoko Iwanaga has served as a mediator between the two realms, resolving any supernatural problems that come her way. At a local hospital, Kotoko approaches Kuru Sakuragawa, a university student whose long-term relationship ended with an unfortunate breakup. Kotoko harbors feelings for him and suspects that something supernatural lurks within his harmless appearance, so she asks Kuru for his assistance in helping out Yaokai. Two years later, news of an idol who was accidentally crushed to death by steel beams flooded the press. However, months later, sightings begin to tell of a faceless woman who wields a steel beam. As is the case for any supernatural problem, Kotoko and her partner set out to stop the spirit from wreaking havoc, but this case may prove to be far more sinister and personal than they could have ever thought. Manji is an infamous swordsman in feudal Japan who is known as the Hundred Man Killer, as he has killed 100 innocent men. However, there is something far more frightening than his ominous reputation, the fact that he is immortal. This is the handiwork of 800-year-old Nanyeabakuni, who placed bloodworms capable of healing almost any wound in Manji's body. To atone for his crimes, Manji resolves to kill 1,000 evil men. Yeabakuni agrees to this proposal, saying that if he succeeds, she will undo his curse of immortality. Soon after this promise, Manji meets Rin Asano, a 16-year-old girl who requests Manji's assistance in killing those who slaughtered her parents. Initially reluctant, Manji refuses Rin's desperate plea. However, owing to her evident lack of strength, Manji changes his mind and agrees to protect Rin for four years. With this partnership set in stone, the two embark on a perilous journey of bloodshed, vengeance, and redemption, each to fulfill their own life's cause. As a cultivation genius who has achieved a new realm every two years, since he was a year old, Wang Ling is a near-invincible existence with prowess far beyond his control. But now that he's 16, he faces his greatest battle yet, senior high school. With one challenge after another popping up, his plans for a low-key high school life seem further and further away. Koju Akatsuki's days as an ordinary high school student in the Demon District of Itagami Island come to an abrupt end after a fateful encounter leaves him with the remarkable abilities of a vampire. It isn't long before he is thrust into the center of attention when it is discovered that he is the fourth primogenitor, an immensely powerful vampire who most consider to be merely a legend. 
Fearing Koju's destructive potential, the Lion King organization sends in an apprentice sword shaman, Yukina Himaragi, to monitor, and should he become a threat, kill the boy deemed the world's most powerful vampire. Forced together by circumstance, the two form an unlikely alliance as Koju comes to terms with his abilities and they both struggle to protect the city from various emerging chaotic forces. Aumu Akawa is a 16-year-old high school student who is tragically murdered while investigating a suspicious house. However, he soon awakens next to a strange armored girl called Euclidewood Helsinki. She reveals herself to be a necromancer who has revived Aumu, consequently turning him into a zombie. Now immortal, Aumu sets out to hunt down his killer. One day, while searching in a cemetery, he encounters a boisterous young girl named Varuna, who is fighting a bear with a chainsaw while dressed as a magical girl. After she kills the beast, Haruna attempts to erase Aumu's memories of her, but he instead absorbs her magic for himself. Stripped of her powers, Haruna now orders Aumu to take up her role of hunting strange creatures known as Megalo, monsters that roam the human world and terrorize the population. Kor wa Zombie Dezuka follows the daily antics of the human turned zombie Aumu as he begins his new, ludicrous life where the supernatural becomes the norm. Stas Charlie Blood is a powerful vampire who rules the eastern district of Demon World. According to rumors, he is a bloodthirsty and merciless monster, but in reality, Stas is just an otaku obsessed with Japanese culture and completely uninterested in human blood. Leaving the management of his territory to his underlings, Stas spends his days lazing around, indulging in anime, manga, and games. When Fayumi Yanagi, a Japanese girl, accidentally wanders through a portal leading into the demon world, Stas is overjoyed. But just as he is starting to feel an unusual attraction to her, his territory is attacked, resulting in Fayumi's untimely death. She turns into a wandering ghost, and the crestfallen Stas vows to resurrect her as this would mean, being able to travel to the human world, something he has always dreamed of. Blood Lad follows Stas and Fayumi, soon joined by the spatial magician Bell and the half werewolf wolf, as they travel to find a magic that can bring humans back to life. Striking fear into the hearts of mortals, the demon lord Satan begins to conquer the land of Entisla with his vast demon armies. However, while embarking on this brutal quest to take over the continent, his efforts are foiled by the hero Emilia, forcing Satan to make his swift retreat through a dimensional portal, only to land in the human world. Along with his loyal general Alseal, the demon finds himself stranded in modern-day Tokyo and vows to return and complete his subjugation of Entisla, that is, if they can find a way back. Powerless in a world without magic, Satan assumes the guise of a human named Sadao Mai and begins working at Ngranals, a local fast food restaurant, to make ends meet. He soon realizes that his goal of conquering Antisla is just not enough as he grows determined to climb the corporate ladder and become the ruler of Earth, one satisfied customer at a time. Whether it's part-time work, household chores, or simply trying to pay the rent on time, Hataraku Mayusama presents a hilarious view of the most mundane aspects of everyday life, all through the eyes of a hapless demon lord. <laughs> Mirai Kuriyama is the sole survivor of a clan of spirit world warriors with the power to employ their blood as weapons. As such, Mirai is tasked with hunting down and killing Yamu, creatures said to be the manifestation of negative human emotions. One day, while deep in thought on the school roof, Mirai comes across Akihito Kanbara, a rare half-breed of Yamu in human form. In a panicked state, she plunges her blood saber into him only to realize that he's an immortal being. From then on, the two form an impromptu friendship that revolves around Mirai constantly trying to kill Akihito in an effort to boost her own wavering confidence as a spirit world warrior. Eventually, Akihito also manages to convince her to join the literary club, which houses two other powerful spirit world warriors, Harumi and Mitsuki Nace. As the group's bond strengthens, however, so does the tenacity of the Yaomu around them. Their misadventures will soon turn into a fight for survival as the inevitable release of the most powerful Yaomu, beyond the boundary, approaches.
Kings are individuals who have been bestowed with incredible supernatural powers and granted the ability to recruit others into their clans. Protecting the lives and honor of their clansmen is an integral part of the king's duties. After a video depicting the heinous murder of a red clansman spreads virally, the unassuming student Yushiro Isana is accused of homicide. Now, a manhunt is underway for his head, bringing him into contact with the infamous black dog Kuri Yadagami, a skilled swordsman and martial artist determined to follow the wishes of his late master, the Seventh King. Meanwhile, the current Red King, Makoto Suu, faces his own imminent demise as the search for Yashiro narrows. But during Yashiro's struggle to prove his innocence, a greater conspiracy is unraveling behind the scenes, clouds begin to appear in his memory, and close friends start to question his very existence. What began as a simple murder is now leading towards a full-blown war between kings with the very fate of the world at stake.